Hello, uh, welcome to the pre-match press conference of uh, the game between ATK and Mohan Bagan and Hyderabad FC. Uh, we've got some questions from the media. We'll just go uh, through them one by one. And the first question is from Mr. Shiva Krishna, Telangana Today, and Mr. Kumar from the Sports News. That Hyderabad were unbeaten and recorded a couple of big wins in the month of December. Uh, how much does the scoreline reflect on Hyderabad's attack, attacking game, and how much does it help boost the team's morale? I think is the very similar to to last season in January. No, uh, I think we were in that moment were seven games three four zero. Now it's very similar the numbers. Okay, if you are unbeaten means that you at least you get a, a draw or a win in, in the game. Then you continue uh, in a good position in in the table, but. I know that uh, not only not only myself. I think that all the coaches. I repeat the same. No, we, we are playing in a competition that we are seven or eight teams in in three four points. Then we have to continue playing, and tomorrow we will have a very uh, difficult game. But let's see what happens and and. And I, I think that will be a, a good game. Uh, the second question is from Mr. Shaker from Namaste Telangana. Talking about stats, HFC boasts the best defense in the league. What are your views on it? No, uh, for me, the team, uh, I'm not speaking about Hyderabad, eh? I'm, I'm speaking about all the competitions in the world. The team who uh, less goals they concede in, in, in every competition. Finally, for sure, I don't know if we'll be the champion, the second, the third, but will be a, a good season. If we get uh, to finish the season uh, and we are the team with that concede less goals in, in, in the championship, for sure that we will arrive to the to the top four. Then uh, it's important that we continue in this in this uh, in this line. Uh, next question is from Mr. Shiva Krishna from Telangana today. Uh, ATK MB has improved their standing with back-to-back -back wins in the last few games under new coach Juan Ferrando. Uh, what kind of a game do you expect tomorrow? I think that uh, this kind of questions is a disrespectful for Antonio Lopez Abbas, the coach with more titles in ISL. Juan Ferrando arrived. I know that for me Juan Ferrando is a very good coach and I told you in former interviews when we played against Goa. But if you arrive today and tomorrow you play against Northeast, you can't tell that this is a win for, because he's, uh, he is in, he's on the bench. Now he he had more time to work in the team and, and he maybe he will change or he is trying to change some things in the style. But uh, for me, uh, finally, uh, at the moment, uh, they score the four players in attack or in set pieces. Same than with Antonio Lopez. Then I think that Antonio Lopez uh, deserves more more respect in this kind of of, of sentence. Uh, Juan will try to change the style, but this kind of thing takes time, of course, and for sure that ATK. Uh, is a big team and they will finish in in, in the uh, um, fighting for the not only for the top four for the title too uh, but let's see now we are in the middle of the competition and all, all all of us we know when you arrive in the middle of the competition in a team okay the the wins are confidence for for the team but you have a lot to. Uh, uh, you, you need time to to improve the team, in the style that you want. Talking about the same, uh, ATK Mohan Bagan have a strong squad uh, with the likes of Liston, Bumu, and Roy Krishna, who are all in form. Uh, how, in this situation, how do you approach this game? When you play against strong teams, 
you have this question uh, we play against Mumbai uh, now we will speak we would speak about uh, Angulo Casino the free kicks of, of Yahoo uh, Murtada falling the set pieces uh, when you play against this kind of teams every detail is important and for sure the players that you told now no Liston uh, Krishna but uh, Bumus, Padmanbir, Williams, and all the players, uh, dangerous players in set pieces. Uh, we, ha we have to try to control these players and, and, and try to play our, our style of play. We cannot uh, go tomorrow to the stadium and okay, try to defend the new new and, and let's see what, what happens if, if we can scoring one counter-attack. No, no, we have to try to play our style and, and let's see. We can win, they can win, but but we can't play another thing in, in this game. The next question is from Mr. Kumar, uh, the Sports News. Uh, Okbeche seems to be in his best form at HFC. How much does he influence the younger players at the club? No, he's always helping the, the young players. He's a great player. Uh, he has a lot of experience in a lot of countries, even in India, four seasons for different teams. He scored goals in every team because even in Mumbai last season he was not usually in the lineup and he scored eight goals. The same that he scored till now in, in Hyderabad. And uh, he's a very important player for us because he's the top scorer now in that moment with, with Angulo. But for sure that that uh, he needs the the help of the of the other players and he helps young players too. Uh, next question is from Mr. Joe Williams from the Free Press Journal and Mr. Srinivas from Sakshi. Uh, so this month in January, HFC will be playing seven games. How do you aim to manage your team with the need to maintain good performances? Yes, it's a... not strange, but it's a coincidence. Uh, not all the clubs. Some clubs, they play six games in January, six in February and one in March. We, we play seven, four and one in the first day of March. We play the first game in the, in the last round. We have to manage this situation. I think that we have good squad. We recover, except Halley, practically all the players. Uh, then we play now four, five, three, four games between uh, every four days, and we have to manage this this situation. But I think that the squad is is ready for for this challenge. But this is, let's see, the the results are, are another thing. But but uh, I think that the the team is is prepared to to play these games. Uh, this is the last question from Mr. Wasim from Kail now. Uh, are there any more areas where you would ideally want new additions to the team during the transfer window is now open? Mm, no. Uh, Nikhil Prabhu signed in, in Odisha. Then uh, uh, Amrit Pal from the B team from the academy will be with us and. And two weeks ago, uh, we signed uh, Seitia Sen because Hali is injured. It's not a replacement because maybe Hali can arrive to for the last games, but we need a, a winger with experience and we signed uh, Seitia. No? Then it's player by player, but we have same number of players and same positions. Uh, we are happy with the squad that we have and we will try to continue in the same line. Thank you, Kut. Uh, that was all the questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you.